welcome to red tech channel a new way to learn so today in anatomy i am discussing about the bone marrow please watch the previous video before watching this the link is given in the description so let's begin bone marrow basically it is a vascular connective tissue which is present in the medullary cavity or you can say simply cavity of the bone cavity basically refers to say that the space where uh, something can be fixed so at the birth the marrow is red and with active hemopoiesis now look to parts of the developing long bone you must remember the developing long bone it has uh, three part epiphysis diaphysis and metaphysis now look to one by one uh, the their details epiphysis basically it is the part of the bone which develops from the secondary center of the ossification basically it is also a part and basically it is present in the end of the long bone when developing long bone you can, when you see the developing long bone the end part called epiphysis end of the long bone another is diaphysis basically it is the part of the bone which developed from the center of ossification basically it is the primary center means when you see the developing long bone the center part where you see that part basically diaphysis or you can say shaft of the and another term is metaphysis basically it is the zone of the bone where active growth is seen where you can judge the bone that is developing or not it is present at the junction of epiphysis and diaphysis of the long bone when you see in when you see the metaphysis in any bone you can judge or you can uh, remember that or you can identify that whether it is developing or not now look to structurally bone consists of outer covering bone has outer covering called periosteum and when we go deeper into it it is basically compact bone made up of series of lamella which is just nothing like a uh, but bony plates which made up of collagen fiber and in bone basically matrix having calcified with calcium and phosphate that's why we called bone having calcium now another term is osteoblast and osteocytes basically osteoblast are immature bone cells present near the periosteum 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 which is the outer covering of the bone you can say that osteocyte are mature bone cells present uh, between the lamella so you must remember the both terms the osteoblast the immature bone cells and the osteocytes are mature cells and osteoblast are present near the periosteum which is the outer covering and osteocytes are mature cells mature bone cells but present between the lamella so you must remember the both the term and correlate with each other that's periosteum the outer covering osteoblasts are immature bone cells which is present near the periosteum and the osteocytes are mature bone cells present or you can say placed between lamina now look to the diagram here you can see the secondary center and the and the in the center you can say the diaphysis diaphysis basically you can say that shaft of the long bone so you can see here the diaphysis also the cartilaginous epiphysis also present there so you can see that epiphysis and diaphysis but when you see metaphysis you can identify whether it is growing bone developing bone or no so that's all for this video do subscribe if you like and thanks for watching